Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time on Let's Play Paper Mario. Today, we've got, well, stronger than your average Goombas here, so let's take them on. The blue one is going to be easier because, well, he only has 6 HP. And fortunately, my power jump deals, well, 3 HP of damage. So, yeah, a couple of those, that'll get the job done. Well, I can't be that much weaker. Okay, so yeah, for, for now, we'll just deal a little more damage here. Nice. Red Goomba is going to take a bit longer to kill, but that's okay. I'd rather try to take one of them out as quickly as I can so they don't gang up on me too much. You don't have to tattle the enemies in the game. I'm just doing it, well, not just for flavor, but also, haha. -ha. But, I mean, I also, I like being able to see the HP of my enemies. Constantly. And it'll stick around from one battle to the next. So, well, I guess boss fights, it doesn't really matter there. But, like, for random enemies, yeah, you can, it'll stay with you throughout. So, that's pretty nice. But anyway, yeah, I'm out of FP to take out this guy. So, oh well, we'll just have to go with our regular jump. Yeah, not very good on the damage there, but... Oh, well. Well, we're over halfway to another level, so hopefully that'll help us out. Unlike Mario RPG, levels don't really help you that much. As far as, like, increasing your damage or whatever goes. It, it's more of an indirect sort of thing. Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, are you going to be using a Danger Mario setup? Because there's quite a few badges in the game that have pretty strong effects when you're below, or at or below, 5 HP for him. I'll use it every now and then, but I don't want to do it all the time. Oh well. Run away! Well, let's see what you got to say about this place, Gumbario. What save block? Hmm? Oh, there it is. Okay. Easy enough. Sure, why not? Okay, well, let's just uh, head on to the right, then. You know anything about this part? I may not show off every single thing that Gumbario has to say, because, well, it would take too long. But... Every now and then, sure, why not? I might forget or whatever. Didn't we already have one of those billboards? Whoa! Okay, took care of those guys. You know, I forgot to do something. I need to heal up again. So let's get back here and use that heart block again. So yeah, we just used it before, but well, we can use it again for free, so all right. Well, hopefully I won't have to fight that Goomba again. Well, he's still there, I guess, but I'm not going to inspect it again. Oh, what's going on? Uh-oh. Nuts. How hard could it possibly be to get past it? Oh. Seems like a dangerous place to put your castle. But whatever works for you. I guess it's kind of hard for anyone to attack you from behind. But we do have paragumbas or paratroopas. What building? Oh, you mean the really big, tall building right next to me? Yeah. Huh. That's weird. Uh oh. Is that the Goomba King? Well, someone's got to be in charge of this place. Okay, how's it going? Nice pants you got there. Remember the color of his pants for later, viewers. It's important. What do you mean you don't believe me? I'm serious. It's an important fact later on. You'll see why, viewers. No, not really. I've killed a whole bunch of Goombas in my time. No, not especially. Even Goombario doesn't care. Yeah, we can take him. Especially since I remembered to heal up after the boss fight. For second boss time against 
the Goomba King. What are you gonna do? Just jump on me again? Well, yeah, they are small fries. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't have max HP anymore. Now, you could, let's say, use a fire flower and kill them that way. Or, you can hit this goom nut tree. Right. Oh, well, that was easy enough. That'll make life immensely easier now. Nah, I don't think so. He doesn't even have any more attack power or defense than they do. Hmm, maybe. But for now, we'll just stick with power jump. Whoa. I guess he's uh, too heavy to actually hit me with his head. So yeah, just keep on going with head bonk and power jump. Even though his crown might kind of look like it's spiky or whatever, no, it's not. So don't worry about it. Alright, go. That was another EG boss fight. Hey, hey, alright, a level up. Now we can choose whatever uh, stat we want to increase here. BP would essentially increase the number of badges that you can equip, but at this point in the game, most of the badges that we got aren't really that good. So I think I want to double my FP supply a little bit. In general though, I do recommend putting most of your level ups into BP, because eventually we will get some really good badges and we'll want to be able to equip all of them. By the way, the um, normal maximum for each stat is uh, 50 for heart points, 50 for flower points, and 30 for badge points, so just something to keep in mind there. Hey, hey all right. Well, let's take a look around, see how we can get past this place. Hmm, nothing there. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, regarding level ups, the maximum level in this game is 27. For some reason, I don't know why. Seems like, seems oddly specific, but well, whatever works for you guys. No, you push the button. I push the button. What's going on? Was that a load-bearing switch? Well. Now what did you do, Mario? You're a plumber, not an architect. Hey, all right. So that's what happened to the bridge there. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Well, wouldn't you know? Oh, yeah, we don't need to do that, though. Okay, so let's continue onward, then. There's a couple more treasures we can get around here, so let's take a look around. Ha! Every coin helps, especially early in the game. Later in the game, not so much, but early on, yeah, we want to try and get as much money as we can. Oh, a hidden treasure! There's actually quite a few hidden treasures in the game. I don't, I, well, I probably don't know where every single one is, despite all the research that I did in my uh, three test runs of the game. So, oh well. Where are you going? Got past your block. What are you going to do now? Um, sure. Let's save. Man, that's one hell of a magic spell you got there. Just keeping your castle all the way up there like that. How are we going to get up there eventually, anyway? How's it going? Ha uh ha. -huh. Why didn't you just make him invincible? But aren't you the one in charge? Well, I guess even among servants, someone has to be in charge. Well then, 
Why did you put him in charge there? Yeah, there's no way we could possibly defeat him with the Star Rod. No, of course not! Now you're just talking crazy. Are we going to have to go searching for MacGuffins in order to beat him? Yeah, how hard could it possibly be? Thank you for telling the audience. Oh, sorry, I went through that a little quickly. Uh, I can't go back on the dialogue there. Usually, if it's the same person... Uh, speaking, you can press the Z button to go back on a line of dialogue you might have accidentally gone too far forward with. Really? Really, game? Well, they're not exactly mutants. And they got most of the colors wrong, too. What happened to the purple one? I like Donatello. He was my favorite Ninja Turtle. Well, sometimes it's not all about size. Actually, these guys are fairly strong. That's okay, we can take them. What special attack? Whoa! Pretty bright. What are you gonna do? Blind me? That's... Maybe I should have put that level up into HP. No. No. Actually, I pretty much ignore HP for the majority of the game. Maybe if you're new to the game, <laughs> you, you might want some more HP, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Oh, by the way, we also do get badges that can increase HP and FP too. So, you know, that's another reason why you could just put a whole bunch of level ups into badge points. But right now, we don't have any of that. So let's keep on going. Okay, let's see. I know there's a treasure around here somewhere. Ah, gotcha. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. We might need one of those for later, but uh, I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's see, hit that tree. Ha-ha! What do we get? Another badge! All right. Well, I want to equip that one right away. So, let's see, get rid of close call, because it's not going to be too useful for us most of the time. Basically, hammer throw lets you uh, hit an enemy wherever they are, even if they're in the back row. So, mm, it's kind of useful, but not extraordinary. But I might as well equip it, because I got nothing better to do with my badge points. So, oh well. Alright, made it back home. Well, for the Mushroom Kingdom, that is. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Well, do the best I can. Well, let's see what we uh, got around here. Oh, I didn't see much of a gate, but okay. Yeah, it's not too far. Rusty, really game? Maybe we can get some training there. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, I already talked to you. If you are standing, like, right next to an NPC, Gumbari might tell you some stuff about him or her. Oh, well, okay. Keep that in mind. Where does this pipe go? Oh, right, from the intro. So, you're not going to be coming with us, Luigi? Coming back home, apparently. 
If only they made a Mario RPG game that has Luigi as a controllable character. How's it going? Well, good for you. Yeah, I was about to ask, how'd you get out of there? Maybe you should have stuck around. How's it going? Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Never gonna get a game of your own, Luigi. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it seems like a nice place to me. Well, let's see. Around here, I don't think there's any treasure, like coins or stuff. Let's see. If we go inside, what do we got? Well, they got some statistics that track stuff throughout the game, but yeah, nothing I can really do with that right now. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, later on, we'll get letters from people, and they'll be delivered here. Hmm, what's with that weird floor panel? Hmm. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably not important. Let's get out of here. Get back to Toad Town. Find a way to get to that... Where are we going? That Star Hill Summit place thing? Star Hill? Whatever. Um. Yeah, I've already uh, read that. So you get next to him, get that thought bubble above him, and then Gumbario will tell you about him. Oh, okay. Remember him for later viewers. We're gonna need some help from him later on. How's it going? No, I'm the princess. What do you think, or who do you think I am? Sounds like a plan. If I ever need your knowledge, I'll look you up. Hey, can I read that sign? Oh, I can. Huh. Okay, well, there you are. <laughs> Can't be crazier than me. Well, I'll keep him in mind. Yeah, I was kind of there. I can kind of see it from here, probably. Well, it wouldn't be the first black hole I've encountered. Well, wow. okay. Now let's see who lives around here. Hmm, there's a star piece over there, but I can't jump over this fence to get to it. Remember that for later, viewers. It's going to be quite a while before we can actually get over there to that one. But just keep that in mind. Ah. So you come here often, Gumbario? I guess you're not too far. Oh. Oh. Well, at least you got out, if he was there to begin with. Oh, well, good for him. Not all, well, actually, most of the NPCs don't have names, but, well, we'll take what we can get. Oh. Oh, was he there before? I don't think so. Oh. Okay, so he wasn't around before. How's it going? I like how they have a lot of party talk dialogue with the uh, Goombario here. I like that sort of thing. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. What's Bowser gonna do from up there anyway? Actually, I don't know what I don't wanna know what he's gonna do up there with Peach. Don't answer that, viewers. Ah. Where's the beds around here? Or do you all just sleep on the floor? Well, it's the only room you've got, apparently. Must be uh, pretty cheap though. Oh, 
You ran him? <laughs> what are mushrooms going to do? I don't want to know. I gotta stop asking these questions. Well, everyone's gotta have their priorities. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it can't be that wicked. Oh, well anyway, this is our item shop of the game. Whenever you see a little fire flower symbol in front of the shop, you're going to be able to buy items there. And each shop has different inventories, sometimes different prices for the exact same items. So just something to keep in mind there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't uh, carry more than 10 items on you at a time. So yeah, it's kind of a really small inventory, unfortunately, but oh well. Well, let's see what we can buy here. We already got a sleepy sheep. I never use that one. I guess it just makes them run away or something. Pow blocks are really good for dealing with certain types of enemies. We're going to want to buy those later on. But they're cheaper later on before I actually need them. So, oh yeah, and we also, just like Mario RPG, we got honey syrups to restore FP. But I'm not going to buy any of those right now. What I do want to do is sell some of my excess goods. Like the Super Shroom, since I'm never going to need to restore 10 HP, or at least not until way later in the game. So I wouldn't worry about it, and we need more money anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's sell the Sleepy Sheep. There's another one we can get later on that we're going to need later, though. But for now, we can just sell this one. What else do we got? Um, hmm. Maybe I'll sell one of the mushrooms, but I want to hold on to the other one, just in case I need that later on. So that's it for selling. Now, with the goom nuts, I want to save those for later, but I'm not going to be using them right now. So we can check some items into storage. So let's just give them to him for now. Also, at the various shops in the game, whenever you store an item in one of their inventories, th they'll be available at anyone throughout the game. So if you go to another shop, you left an item back here in Toad Town, but you can still get the item later on anyway. So that's pretty nice. Ah, well, good for you. Uh, yeah, can I talk to him? Have what? Ah, uh, I'm just a plumber. Oh, good for you. Okay, how's it going? <laughs> Maybe. I always wanted to walk into a room with a bunch of people being trained like in James Bond movies, but no, not in this game. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I was kind of there. But thanks for reminding me. I'll go for a little extra length on today's episode since I'm spending a lot of time talking to people. Sounds like a plan. Can we do anything with that box? No. I don't think we can, ever. If there's something to that box, let me know, because it kind of bothers my OCD. Oh, okay. Well, they all kind of look the same to me, but... Okay. Well, yeah, you're a Goomba. So. Apparently so. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Personally, I don't like the 20 pounds of makeup, but whatever works for you. Oh, well, I suppose so. The purple color's nice. Well, the castle didn't fly away by itself. Though, I suppose maybe it makes slightly more sense than a castle burrowing into the ground and popping up somewhere else. Who's that guy? Ah, Jackie Chan? No, no, not in this game. How's it going? Well, who's he? 
Oh! Right, that's the same thing as before. Uh, let me see. Okay, try it now. Bruce Lee? Hmm. Well, how's it going here, anyway? Where... Can we go to the dojo to do some training? Oh. Well, okay. Guess you gotta learn patience. Ah, oh, okay. Well, yeah, they're not available right now, but later on, they will be. Hit this tree, boom, we get another star piece. Hooray! Ah, oh, okay. Well, it is a fairly big village, although we can't go everywhere right now. Yeah, so we only have access to the northern half of the town, unfortunately. But, oh well. Remember those for later, viewers. Oh well. And with this uh, message board here, you got a front and a back side to it. Now, let's see what the official news is. What, you needed a news report to tell you that? Sorry. Nuts. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, I don't think I went over what this area is. Yeah, it's the center of town, so they got an inn here. They don't cost money, like, ever, but, well, there you are. Not anymore. Oh, wow. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but yeah, you can talk to Merlon, and, well, he'll give you hints for doing stuff and all that. So, something to keep in mind. I'm not going to do it too much, but it is there. We will be needing to visit him periodically. What's going on? Oh, yeah, it seems kind of spooky. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, really? Huh. Well, let's see if we can uh, pay him a visit. Oh, is that a sign on the door? Can I get in? I'm not going to leave you alone until you let me. Oh. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that out on my own from Final Fantasy IX. Let's see what we got over here. Ah, what are they anyway? I don't know their uh, where they come from or whoever they are. Well, whatever works for them. Oh, well, the shop's not open right now, but we'll be able to uh, buy some later on. Pretty much every chapter of the game, we'll be able to get some new badges, and it's got some really good stuff too. That's pretty much what we're going to be spending most of our money on, badges. There's some items, periodically, that we want to buy, but for the most part, not so much. I'm generally not a huge fan of using items, because, well, they're consumable. Ow, oh, Minty. I thought Min was a guy's name, but no, that's another game, viewers. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk to her, actually. I want to be like these flowers. Thank you. Not too many flowers around here, though. Oh. Yeah, I remember those guys. They were in Yoshi's Island, weren't they? I think they were. I should play that game again, just for reference. Well, let's see if we got anything down here. How's it going? Too bad we can't get through this place, but oh well. We can't jump over the wood or the fence or anything like that. Nuts. How long is it going to take you to clean this place up? 
Oh, wow, okay. Well, I'll worry about that later. By the way, remember mint tea for later because we'll need to uh, get some of those bulb seeds in order to progress with the plot eventually. Not until way later in the game, but just something to keep in mind there. How's it going? Well, yeah, she deals with flowers. What did you expect? What's with these guys? Yeah, that's weird. Hmm, I wonder what they're doing here. It's dangerous to go alone. Well, okay. Gee, I wonder who those four could possibly be. They're even less sly than uh, the ones in the first game. Good for him. Someone has to get mail around here. Ah, hmm, that's weird. Oh, yeah, how's it going? You got any mail for me? Oh, okay, I guess that's all you have to say. Do you really need to fly indoors like that? Hmm, do we have any mail? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, in order to get mail for our, our other party members, we gotta come here. Mario, all of his stuff goes to his house. But everyone else, they come around here. And there's quite a few uh, side quests that involve mail and letters and things like that. So we'll be doing stuff with that later on in the game. Well, we already got one letter, so... Uh-oh. How's it going? Ha-ha. Oh, okay. Please notice me, senpai. Or however that quote goes. I don't know. But yeah, they'll keep the letters here, so I guess if you wanted to read them later on, you could. See, I don't know if I talked to everyone around here, but... Well, that's good enough. Okay, yeah, let's just, uh... Or do I need to rest up even? No, I don't. I'm already at full anyway. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. We could do that, but I don't think that's going to be really necessary. But can we make it to Star Hill up ahead? Find out next time on Let's Play Paper Mario. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.